Picking a security camera is not an easy thing to do. This is something that's meant to keep you, your family, and your property safe. You need to do your research and make sure it's reliable, has the features that you're looking for, and also make sure that it's compatible with other smart home devices in your house. So in this video, we're gonna be covering some of our favorite outdoor cameras, so stay tuned. Hey everyone, welcome back to another video. If you are in the market for an outdoor camera, you have come to the right place. Trust me, I know when I started out doing this, I had the same questions. I want the best possible camera that is going to work with the most products out there and also be the best price. I've tested out a lot of outdoor cameras, not only for reviews.org, but also on my channel too. And we're gonna to be touching on some of my favorite cameras in today's video. So I have done in-depth reviews on all of the cameras that we're gonna be talking about in today's video. So I'm just going to lightly touch on each one of them. If you guys wanna know any more about these cameras or check out those videos, we will link them in the description below. First off, we're talking about the Nest Cam IQ Outdoor Camera. Some of the things that we like about this camera is the premium look that this camera gives. It's a giant camera that has a great white finish to it. It has great video quality that uses a 4K image sensor to capture 1080p video. In addition to the video, it's got great audio too, so you're gonna pick up every little sound with this thing. This camera can be triggered either through motion triggered events or 24 seven recording, depending on the subscription that you purchase. We've also got the ability to set up activity zones. This camera has facial recognition, so it can tell you who it detected. It's got excellent integration into the Google environment, so if you are a Google user, this is definitely the camera you are going to want to pick up. One of my favorite things is connecting this camera to the Nest Hub. So on the Nest Hub, you can do the drop down, select cameras, and bring up any of the Nest cameras natively on the Nest Hub. I love that feature right there. In addition to working in the Google environment, it also does work with Amazon Alexa. Now, some of the cons with this camera is that it is really expensive. For one camera, it is $399. By far the most expensive camera that we cover in this video. Also, this camera is wired, so you do have to have it plugged in at all times, which can make the installation a bit tricky having to deal with a wire. Another con is that there's no local storage on this device right here. So to record any video, you do have to have an active subscription. Next up, we have the Ring Stick Up Cam Battery. So this camera right here has a white soda can look to it. It shoots 1080p video that is motion activated. So there's no option for 24 seven recording. But the good thing about this one being a battery powered camera is that it is wireless. So you don't have to worry about having this thing plugged in all the time. They've got one of my favorite apps that is jam packed with features and really easy to use. It also has great integration with the Ring security system. So in addition to security cameras, Ring also has a security system. It has smart lighting. We've done a lot of videos on the smart lighting recently if you guys wanna check those out. But the good thing about the Ring ecosystem is that everything connects together. So you can use motion sensors on one device to trigger other devices. It's a really cool ecosystem and one of the things I am most impressed about with Ring. In addition to that, this camera is really affordable coming in at $99 and it does integrate with Amazon Alexa and IFTTT. Now, some of the cons that I experienced are that this had below average video and audio quality. I was not that impressed with it. Like with the Nest Camera, recording video does require a cloud subscription. Lastly, Ring cameras don't work with Google Assistant or Apple Siri. All right, next up we've got the Arlo Pro 3. And what makes this camera stand out from the rest is that it shoots at 2K HDR video. Like the Ring camera, this one is also battery powered, so you don't have to worry about running any cables. But like with the Ring, if you want to connect a solar panel or actually do wanna have this thing plugged in, you can have it plugged in too. This camera also has a spotlight on top of it, and that spotlight allows it to shoot in colored night vision. These cameras are really easy to set up. It works with Amazon Alexa, Google Assistant, and Apple HomeKit. These cameras do also have the option of local storage, but I will say it's not that great of a feature. So some of the cons with this camera is that it does require a hub. This camera is not gonna connect directly to your Wi-Fi router like the other ones will. So you do have to connect it directly to the hub. Also with this camera, they do sell it in bundles. So you can buy two cameras, three cameras, four cameras, but they do not just sell an individual camera and hub. And because of that, they are pretty expensive. So to get a two camera kit is gonna be $499. 
Also another con with Arlo is that some of their features like activity zones and person detection do require a subscription. Next up, we've got Real Link's Argus 2 camera. Now this camera shoots sharp 1080p video. It is also battery powered, so no wires needed. The good thing about this one right here is that it does have free local storage, so you do not have to pay for a subscription at all to keep your storage. Another thing that I really like about this camera right here is it's got a lot of the same features that some of the big name brands do. So you've got things like motion activated recording, you can set up activity zones, it's got person detection, and all of that at no additional cost. And speaking of cost, this camera only comes in at $95. This camera also works in the Amazon Alexa and Google Assistant environments. Now the con about this camera is that it does record footage locally to the camera. So if your camera is stolen, they're taking the footage with it. All right, guys, well, that is the rundown of these four cameras. 